Insurance companies around the world are facing the challenge of aging populations. The Taiwanese population is one of the most extreme examples of this. I'm here in the Taipei offices of Fubon Life, the winner of the World Finance Award for Best Insurance Company, Taiwan 2012. I'm here with President Benson Chen. Benson, thank you very much for inviting me. You are welcome. Now, one of the other challenges that is facing insurance companies around the world is the European debt crisis. How is that impacting on Fubon Life's financial performance? How were your results this year so far? Despite the debt crisis, uh, Fubon Life continued to deliver revenue growth last year thanks to our premium policy quality. Another reason that contributed to the growth is our conservative yet flexible investment strategy. Last year, we recorded an earning per share of 4.8 New Taiwan dollars, which is 53% higher than the previous year. We have been the best insurance company in Taiwan in terms of profitability three years in a row. This year, up to July, our first year premium income totaled 196 billion New Taiwan dollars. That is 58% growth over the previous year. We have also become the number one leader in terms of market share. Our asset had grown significantly, exceeding 2 trillion New Taiwan dollars. That is already double the amount when Fubon Life merged with ING Life Taiwan back in 2009. We have experienced great growth and are well supported by our customers. And what's your growth strategy? Do you intend to enhance service quality or provide more customizable products? Insurance products and services uh, is easy to phase out if you do not try to innovate and uh, satisfy the unmet customer needs, uh, that's why we have been very aggressive in providing a comprehensive uh, portfolio and developing multiple distribution channels. Fubang Life is the market leader in Thai agency, uh, bank assurance and alternative channels. In the Thai agency channel, we have been actively recruiting new agents. In the bank assurance channel, more than 80% of banks in Taiwan are our partners. Furthermore, we are also the market leader in the insurance bro broker channel. And we have been leveraging alternative channels such as direct marketing and TV shopping to serve more customers. To further reinforce our customer service, we have used high-tech service to speed up the administrative process significantly. Now, in the first half of 2012, Fubon Life recorded total premium income of 239 billion Taiwan dollars, an increase of 40% over the same period last year. How have you achieved such an impressive result? Uh, we faced a lot of challenges this year including the policy change in the Taiwan life insurance market. Changes like implementation of the uh, 2012 uh, mortality tables and the adjustment of policy reserve interest rates, which will cause the raise of premium and affect the customer purchase intentions. We also reach our target of achieving about 70% of the annual sales quota during the first six months this year, after the new policy went into effect in July, some products were forced to be withdrawn from the market. Uh, we have been active studying the customer need uh, demands and will introduce highly com competitive uh, new products that will meet the market needs. Traditional life insurance products are your chief source of revenue. Is it your strategy to continue focusing on this area, or do you intend to diversify your product range? Growing first year premium income is not our first priority at the moment. Instead, our focus is to increase value of new business. 
In response to the government's policy of increasing the insurance coverage for the general public, we have made some adjustments to our product portfolio and gradually increased the percentage of traditional insurance products. Thanks to this effort, now more than 90% of our FYP income come from the traditional insurance products. Meanwhile, our capital cost of insurance policy has been decreasing gradually, which helps to provide a more stable premium income, provides momentum for future profitability, and enhance the efficiency of capital utilization. Now, Taiwan's aging population represents a serious challenge for the company. How are you approaching this issue? Uh, Taiwan could become one of the countries with the fastest pace of, of aging in the world. Nowadays, about seven young adults support one elderly person, but it is forecasted that there will be only three young, young adults support in 2026. Therefore, retirement planning and long-term care insurance will become the mainstream products in the future. Last year, we introduced a lifetime health insurance policy focusing on the long-term care of specific diseases. Unlike traditional long-term care insurance, the policyholder of this new product will be able to claim for lifetime benefit when he or she is diagnosed with eight specific diseases. So far, more than 6,000 families are enjoying the coverage of these new products. We will launch more long-term care products in the future to fulfill customer needs and share the social burden of long-term care with the government. Your Fubon House program offers convenient and comprehensive access to all of Fubon Group's financial products and services. How is that project being executed? The idea of Fubon House is to bring our service to different corners of Taiwan so that our customer can access our financial service easily. We establish more than 60 Fubon Houses all over Taiwan to bring our service desk to our clients' neighborhood and provide a one-stop shopping experience. We not only can process policy-related services, but also offer services from our banking, property insurance, and securities branch for our policyholder at Fubang House. We also organize activities at Fubang House to bring the knowledge of a lifestyle of health and investment to the local con communities. This year, we have hosted more than 50 lectures and outdoor events to reach our customers. And finally, what's your long-term strategy? What developments are you planning and where do you see Fubon Life in 2025? Ever since the bankruptcy of Lehman Brothers and the eruption of European debt crisis, low interest rates have become a global phenomenon. The economic slowdown is expected to continue for the next couple of years. In the meager profit era, what we care about is cost rationalization and how to improve our efficiency and the competitive advantage. Meanwhile, enterprises have to be more uh, responsive and innovative and emphasize more on risk management. We will continue to provide the customer-oriented products and services while developing a best brand image for Fubang Life. In addition to cultivating the local market, we are also actively exploring overseas markets. We had opened our subsidiary in Benin last year, and in China, we also sent out the application, which is under the approval process. We hope to duplicate the successful Taiwan experience in this overseas market to serve more, cars, more clients and explore more business opportunities. Finally, our goal in the next five years is to double our assets and the business volume. 
through both organic growth and acquisition to achieve our goal of becoming one of Asia's best financial institutions. Benson Chen, thank you. Thank you. Thank you again.